Now, it's the sport that really boomed and grew up in the bomb sites of Britain after the Second World War and is once again now proving to be one of the fastest growing cycling sports at grassroots. It is Cycle Speedway, and as the British team arrive in Poland today as they build up to the World Championship later this year, I've been to train at Coventry to see what it's all about. No brakes, no gears, just dirt and plenty of guts. And Cycle Speedway is accessible to all ages, even if you're five, like Lucy. Oh, it's just a bit slippy. And why do you love it? Oh, because... Because I just like it. It's cycling at its purest, really. It's so rough, ready and raw, in keeping with how this sport really took off in the UK, in bomb cities amongst the rubble just after the Second World War. They're off. It's only a bomb site, just a bunch of kids having fun. But here's where stars of speed are born. Sit back and see if you can spot a champion of tomorrow. One day, the crowd will roar for the kids who learnt it all the hard way on the cycle speedway. Well, it all started um, after the war um, in the bomb sites, and um, you know, a load of kids sort of with not a lot to do, just um, we were copying the, the motor speedway um, and just sort of set up, set up their own tracks, and it absolutely boomed. It was tracks absolutely everywhere. As cities were rebuilt in the post war years, the cycle speedway tracks disappeared, but now purpose built ones like this one in Coventry have brought it back as a cheaper and safer alternative to motor speedway. Now there are leagues again and the World Championships in Australia later this year. We're trying to reinvent it a little bit and, and trying to add a bit of flair to it and you know, really try and get people involved from all sort of age groups. It's far more accessible and obviously for the parents and for them not to have that, not, not, so, not so worried about them being on the back of a motorbike. Which also makes it easier to just turn up and pay a couple of quid to hire a bike and enter a race. Well, this is where the nerves kick in at the starting gate. This is the position you need to adopt for maximum speed up to the first corner. Oh, and four laps, four laps. Well, cut up there by the British captain, you come inside. Oh, sometimes, oh, in the other fence. It's fast and explosive with four riders competing over four laps. They do say in this sport it's first or dirt, and most races are won as you skid around the corners. Oh, 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 let's go as fast as you can. Keep pedaling around those beds, Mike. Bit frightening, because you don't know when you're going to fall off or anything. But you just want to get, get in the inside of people and overtake them. I get quite aggressive about it, because it's full contact. And you either come out on the right side or the wrong side. Indeed, the whole British Championship was won on the very last bend last season. I was 10 yards away from being the champion, but I, I, was, I was happy with, uh, with seconds as well anyway. Yeah. So. <laughs> and it can certainly hurt when your dreams end up in the dirt in Cycle Speedway. I can definitely recommend it. It's great fun whizzing around on the gravel and the dirt. A bit slippy, as the, our little five-year-old Lucy was saying there, but she's got involved. Oh, looking for scabs on your knees. No, I managed to stay on all that time. Yeah, find your local club, though, on the Cycle Speedway website. Clubs right across the country. Yeah.